Installing and activating event in on WordPress for free is quick and easy. First, download event in from wordpress.org or the plugin directory. Then, click add new plugin and upload the event in zip file. Activate the plugin. Then, from settings, enable WooCommerce payment method. You can also enable attendee registration. After completing the onboarding process, you can create an event by clicking on New Event from the Event in Dashboard. Here, put the basic information of your event, such as the event title, event start and end date and time, and event location. Next, write the description of your event and edit the date, time, and time zone. You also have the option to make the event recurring. From event type, you can create your own event category name with a description and do the same with event tags. You can add single or group speakers and organizers for your event and input their name, job title, category, email address, company name, and photo. The schedule section helps you to create a new schedule for your event with a program title, date, and separate schedule topics with their own details. Next, create your event ticket with a ticket name and number of tickets. Customize the ticket price, sales start and end date and time. From the branding section, you can customize the look and feel of your event by adding your event logo and event banner and adding social links. After you are done, save the changes, click publish event and preview the event that you have just created. To create a page using short code from pages, click on add new page. Insert the title of your page and add a shortcode block to add the event tab. You can generate these shortcodes from the menu easily. Make sure to update the page and check your progress. You can also insert shortcode blocks to add event schedules and speakers in the same way. Elementor, a popular page builder, can also be used to create your pages. And that's how you install and run the free version of Eventin. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and follow our socials to stay updated.